in, in business, you obviously can't connect with people in a way that I think is productive um, without creating some level of vulnerability within that team. And information doesn't flow efficiently, people don't feel safe, they're not as productive if, if that, neither of those two things are happening. And so it's really important to try to open up. And I think over my career, clearly I wasn't very good at it early in my career, because I wasn't confident, I didn't have a lot of experience, I was just trying to survive. So as, as, I, as I went through my career, I think the more and more I made myself vulnerable, and what that looks like is you know, talking about your own family, because everybody out there has family issues or, or whatever, and exposing yourself in certain ways that make people feel comfortable with you, and oh, by the way, connect you to them, because businesses don't operate efficiently unless there's all these fibers that connect people together. And, um, and, and that's really, I think, some of those lessons around making myself more vulnerable to people um, just as a person um, was, was critically important. Um, and, and so I, I actually, after a few years of being a CEO, I said, you know, what is it that I'm really trying to do here? And what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to create an environment for people to succeed. And when people ask me the question, what does a CEO do? That's my answer. It sounds a little trite and it's obviously very compact, but if you get underneath it, you know, creating an environment to succeed. And if I, if I believe if I can do that for all the people there in the organization, whatever their definition of success is, it may be that they've got time to spend with their family or play the piano or play on a softball team after work or whatever it is, or get advancement, have advancement within the company and other sort of professional things, whatever it is, whatever their definition of success is, it's critical that I create that environment. If I create that environment where they can succeed, everything else will take care of itself. And so when I talk to people, when I'm interviewing them, I get into, you know, what do you do after work? Or what do you do in your spare time? And, you know, if people have the answer, well, nothing, I'm just focused on work and that's all I want to do, because they think that's what I want to hear, wrong answer. You know, that person usually doesn't go much further with me. Um, and when they say, wow, I've got these interests and I do all this other stuff, that's the kind of deep, rich person that I'm interested in and that I want in this organization. And, and by the way, I don't want somebody that just says, the only thing I think about is work. I don't want somebody like that. I really don't. And because I know when I got into that mode, I was, and I did at various times in my career, I wasn't a very happy person. And, and, and I want people coming to work every single day because they really want to be there. Not because they're getting a paycheck, not because, you know, whatever the more materialistic reason is. I don't want that. I want them to be into the mission, into the strategy, into being there and being part of that team. I can't stress enough about getting as many experiences as you possibly can because the most important thing is whatever it is you decide to do, make sure you love it. Because if you don't love it, it's going to be hell. And, um, and, and it may take a few false starts along the way to figure that out, and hopefully you can you know, shortcut that false, false, start, false start process by doing the summer stuff that I talked about and other things. But just make sure you love it, because the, the biggest gift I think I got is that I did fall into something that um, I ended up loving. And, and you know the accounting was okay and the finance of course was wonderful, but what I love to do is, is, is manage businesses, solve problems around businesses, create strategy, all of that kind of stuff. I really truly did love it. And um, it made you know the 30 odd years that I, I worked a hell of a lot better. Um, I can't even imagine being in a job that I hated for that long. Thank you.